What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're going to talk about Gord. Ever since Gord was revealed back in 2021, the dark fantasy strategy game has garnered a lot of interest. With former Witcher 3 developers leading the project, most fans expect a story rich with lore, interesting side characters, and a very unique art style. Upon its release, Gord has had mixed reviews, but the question is whether it matches the level of other RTS games, giving it a chance to compete. Is it worth buying? I get the good, the bad, and answer these questions in my final verdict. Let's start off with the good. The overall art style is pretty good. It gives a dark, grim environment that is very similar to the Witcher series, making the world feel brutal and every corner something could be there to kill you. It matches the vibe of a medieval Europe manor that seems to give you the idea that leaving the safe haven you have will ultimately lead to your demise. The surrounding plane is in complete darkness, which can be seen as a unique concept giving the player the idea of the complete unknown. It gives a very uneasy feeling of leaving the gore to explore since you don't know what is out there. The inclusion of concepts like sanity meters and overall emotional states of your villagers are dark themes to cover and it makes it for a very unique experience. Gord really emphasized the importance of decision making when running the village. Whether you are building lumber yards to collect wood to build structures or a tavern to help keep sanity, every decision has massive implications. You must constantly think in the long term of what could happen if you make a choice for your gore. If you overwork your villagers, they lose their minds and if you don't have resources, and you won't survive long. It's a give and take, and I'm glad to see the developers put the effort in to give each choice some weight behind it. In RTS games, the decision-making process should always feel important and not put on the back burner. The level design was overall a solid feature. Each scenario you face has a map with different obstacles that you need to face with your gourd. The trick is to get resources and navigate the surrounding areas trying to keep everyone alive. Even if they have a similar look, each area you travel to with your villagers is unique and gives the players a new arena to play in. Keeping with the dark fantasy environment, Covenant Games did a good job here. But with the good, we have to talk about the bad. The overall story of Gord feels bland. The basic concept is that you are working on behalf of the king to organize a territory that was recently conquered. You need to continually find a way to develop the territory to organize it for the crown, and along the way, you face many obstacles from bandits to monsters. Your gourds are essentially fortified manors that are used to house your villagers and develop a stronghold. The story is honestly just bland. Other than seeing some monsters as you expand, the characters are not unique, the challenges are constantly the same, and each scenario feels bland. There are moments where you need to sacrifice villagers to the demons to move past other areas, but we're unable to since we don't have any children to sacrifice. Why can't there be more story elements as to why these demons are infested in these areas? Give us a reason why certain characters are motivated to do certain things. It feels like in one way the actions of the gameplay hold such weight but the story decisions feel half-baked, which is just bad. What seems to be the biggest disappointment is the actual building and management of the gourd. The main focus of the game is to keep the gourd intact and have villagers keep their sanity, but it feels like the actual process and upkeep and expanding on the gourd is just bad. Other than playing a form of Tetris and formatting all your buildings, you don't really have much customization or a chance to make your fort feel like a station to build on. One thing you I have with the game is that you basically leave your area for every scenario, meaning that all the work you did in building your gourd basically disappears. Imagine staying in the same area for several scenarios so that you can build your community, then you can continue expanding into towns, connect them, making an actual path for your entire kingdom. That would feel more like you're colonizing the region than what we actually get. And what makes matters worse is that the villagers are supposed to have traits and make them better at specific roles, but it has little to no impact on success. It's just a missed opportunity. The overall game has several issues that make it feel unpolished. The UI is completely unorganized and all over the place. Character stats are hidden behind several clicks, and the information for resources are extremely small that anyone can miss. Combat aspects of your villagers are horrible, making them seem like not a single person has ever held a cutting tool in their life. Everything from combat to selecting a villager is sort of delayed and not crisp. There were times I was trying to command units to move away from danger, and each time I did, they refused to listen. I did not know that villagers had a stubborn mechanic because literally they would not listen to me daily. There were so many smaller aspects of Gord that felt were just untouched or left alone by developers. Overall, Gord feels like a disappointment. Sure, the art style and the level design were solid in its features, but there were way too many problems to make it an overall positive experience. The bland story and gameplay felt uninspired and rushed with no real weight behind the execution. It really felt as if there was no actual polish in the final product with issues to standard gameplay components. I'd give Gord a 5 out of 10. It never really lands on any of the aspects they had set for themselves, and the few mechanics that they attempted to set th themselves apart actually hurt them in the long run. I would not buy Gord now, mainly because it feels like there were way too many issues with the game 
to make it feel complete. There are some redeemable aspects, but it needs a lot of work to be purchased at full price. Unfortunately, playing this game did not keep my sanity intact. But what do you think about Gord? Would you buy it now? Would you buy it later? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>